Hey there, my name is Karen Campbell, and if this is your first time watching, I just wanted to welcome you. Today, I wanna to bring you on a little studio tour because I just cleaned up everything, and it's very rare that things are actually all put in their place. Um, I also thought while I had everything squared away, I would show you some of my favorite drawing supplies because I have a new drawing book coming up called How to Draw and Find Your Style, and I wanna show you, um, give you a sneak peek of the drawing tools that I'm using in that book, as well as in my favorite drawing pieces here on YouTube and in my own personal art book. Let's go. So when you walk in, this is actually, um, this is actually a spare bedroom, but I took over the whole thing, as you can clearly see. And when you walk in, um, you can, I have this big closet, and in it I have my hoard of Lucas Krill Studio paints, as well as some Liquitex, and my art library. I have a real obsession with art books, and I use them all the time for inspiration and reference, and I'm not sorry about that, yeah. I don't know. I had this table custom made by my husband's father and I love it because it is really big and I have two chairs set up so if I have someone over for a paint date or a draw date we can each have ample room on either side about four foot for each of us and it's really great. This is my video setup so you can see I film almost all my projects and this way I just leave it set up and that way I can always uh, be rocking and rolling at the drop of a hat in this little creative corner here in this cabinet of course on my foam head I love me a foam head um, I have all my gessos and these are my acrylic mediums glues adhesives noxious substances in here this is a hilarious canvas I just had blown up that is myself on the right, Jenny Mano in the middle, my assistant Mandy, and my good friend Lucy Bryden. This was on our Scottish Castle Art Retreat in 2019, which I thought this, we were just messing around, and I thought this photo was just hilarious, so I had it, I had it blown up. It makes me smile every time I look. It's completely ridiculous. Um, yeah, so here's some projects I've done. This was, I did this for my Mixed Media Magic book, and I just like it. So I just leave it out because I am a super hot mess. You can ask my husband. You got to love a llama clock. You know what I'm saying? Like that never goes out of style. And here's just some recent projects that I've done. I literally, this is my last project I just did last week. And I've recently reorganized my entire stash. So I feel much better. I purged a lot of things that I no longer use. These baskets can all get pushed in, but I labeled everything and it's sort of like a blessing and a curse because even though it's labeled, I like to have things kind of open and like spilling out towards me and it kind of drives me nuts that they're in bins, but you have to have some sort of order, you know what I'm saying, or else life gets crazy. Um, I have my spray paint collection. I love to spray paint. I love it, love it, love it. There's nothing quite like spray painting through a stencil either. And of course, my boyfriend, Jamie, keeps me company at all times because I'm obsessed so my sister sent that to me as a surprise and it is so hilarious that I again this is my happy place and I only put things in here that make me happy and inspired um, I have purple walls I have all these funny little frou-frou things I love Bob Roth love him and my kids know that so they actually got me that and this is my jazzercise kitty because I love to jazzercise. Yes, I'm a super dork. This is a retro, real mirror disco ball that I picked up at a vintage store. It's actually made up of actual little tiny mirrors. Isn't that crazy? And my mixed media wall of inspiration. So I thought what I could do today was um, talk you through some of my favorite drawing supplies. Mixed media supplies will be a whole nother video, but I wanna um, walk you through kind of my favorite things. I can show you my art journal a little bit and um, yeah, show you what I'm into lately. So now you can see this is what it looks like when I have my you know everything in place my camera is on my tripod ahead hello and then I have my current work below and I thought I would give you a little demo on my favorite uh, drawing supplies today this is a journal I'm currently working in I usually start with one and then I fill it up and then I move to the next one I 
not all the times. I do have a couple going on the side. I have a little bit of an art journal obsession. This is a Strathmore watercolor paper and it's hardcover, so I love it because I can travel with it and it can it does not get beat up. It's so safe and secure. This is premium watercolor paper. And I like it because I can do full on mixed media projects like this one with paint and different drawing supplies and stencils and like hardcore acrylic painting. This watercolor paper can take everything. And then on the opposite spectrum, I have things that are just, these are just plain old graphite drawings. Um, this is just graphite. But what I love about using watercolor paper for drawing is that it has texture to it. So things blend out really, really easily and you get this wonderful texture. Now, some people kind of hate that. This is just personal preference. I, however, love that. I think it adds a whole nother like three dimension quality to it that you just don't get if you are just working on smooth paper. These are actually, just so you know, I made these. This was the August and this was the September lesson for my Fun Fab Drawing Club, which is my membership club over at awesomeartschool.com. Um, we do we do monthly projects together and th that was for that. Alternatively, I have a mixed media um, membership as well and this was our September lesson. And this is all washi tape and watercolor. So yes, I use this journal for all sorts of different purposes and all sorts of different mediums. As you can see, this is watercolor and pen. And so is this. And so is this. These were my lessons for my Scotland art retreat. This is actually just Stabilo all in water. That's all that is over a collage. This is watercolor as well. Watercolor. Oh, and this is Elegant Writer. And this is watercolor. Watercolor. So this one is a full blown mixed media project, kind of like the first one. And as you can see, the paper is super hardy, zero bleed through. And this is a Stabilo all pencil with water. And I'll talk about that more in a second. So if I am just need to like, if I wanna, if I'm traveling and I wanna, or I'm sitting in carpool and I wanna grab like a, just a couple things that I can sketch with, Believe it or not, I grabbed this giant, ridiculous kindergarten pencil, which is a Dixon Ticonderoga <laughs> jumbo, and it's a 2HB. And then I just grab this. And then I always, always also grab a blending stump, which is like this. Because yeah, blending is how you get all your shading action. So I like this medium pencil because it does dark lines, good shading, also does light lines. So when you're doing things that you want to make look three dimensional, it's important to be able to do both. Now, if I was doing a real quote unquote drawing and I wanted to make something have a lot of depth, um, I always make sure I use a variety of pencils because it gives me um, the full values of my value scale. So I'll give you a quick mini lesson right now. So what is a value scale? Well, this is an HB, which is kind of right in the middle of a value scale, although I think it's a little bit darker than that. Okay, so here's like a spectrum, and we have black all the way at one side. Okay, and then we have white all the way at the other, which I'll just leave as the white of the paper. And then in between, let's see what we have here. This goes this one, this is black. And this is white. So this is our whole value scale here. And this is all in my new book coming up, but I'm giving you a cheat, cheat, cheat right now. Okay, so this is, I'm holding an 8B. And way up here, we'll have an 8H. So as you can guess, in the middle is sort of zero. So we're going up in numbers and we're going up in numbers. And as we go higher on the H side, we are getting, the lead is getting harder and harder and harder and harder all the way until it's so light you get white. So this is a 10, oh my gosh, this is literally a 10H. Just to prove it to you, come on camera, 10H. Okay, so when I'm drawing, I'm pushing down as hard as I can and it, it literally just makes a dent in my paper and it doesn't even show up. That's how hard that 
graphite is. This is 8H. Okay, so you can kind of already begin to see what happens as you go down. This is 4H, so this is right in the middle here. Right, so this is 6, and then we have like 2, and then in the middle. So you can see, this is 5H. And it depends on what pencil set you have, which, which ones will be included. And I think I had a 2H, oh, there's a 4H. Well, you get the idea as you go down. So this one would be obviously like a little bit darker. Okay, and then we have going in this direction, we're getting heavier and heavier and bolder and bolder, right? So your H8, look how nice and dark that is. So that's really soft graphite in there. And this one's a 6B. So it's not quite as dark as the 8B. And then you have these all. This is a 4B. Okay, 4B, right? 2B, and then we have your HB again in the center. So if you can see, you start getting this value scale. This is their quick and dirty value scale lesson. So if you blend these all out, it should go dark, dark, dark to light, and then it just goes light, 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 lighter, lighter, lighter as you go up. And evidently you can sing the value scale as well. <laughs> and then that's all the way white at the end, white of the paper white, okay? So there's your value scale. So this is that, you know, you can do 99% of drawings with just these things. Now I do, as you, as you saw, I do also always include the black pencil. So when, um, if you're looking at my new book or you're drawing along with me, you'll notice if I'm making more realistic drawings or I wanna pack the most punch I'm gonna use a variety of pencils and then I always use black. The reason these look so punchy is because there's a lot of black in here. That's the final touch. And then I have this cool new pencil that I have to show you because this is like a super cheat shortcut. Again, if you're traveling and you don't wanna bring a lot of things and you feel ridiculous using a kindergarten pencil, you can get these sexy black wing pencils. These are my super cheat. They're not cheap. They're about $2 a pencil. Um, I buy them by the dozen and they are like liquid gold. They come in, they come in, um, they have like special editions, but these are always available. They're black, gray, or silver and whites, and they have different softnesses on their leads. My entire how to draw drawing book, because actually I did it almost all with this one pencil. And this has lead that's very similar to this one in that it's soft, so you can get like a big range of values. You can do really light, if you just push down very lightly, you can get light, light ranges like our high H is not quite that high because you need to be able to see them when you're making a book. But and then you, if I press down harder, I can get up in the 6B range. So it's kind of like all in one pencil and it has this really fun, funky, flat shape. And I'm just showing this to you because I use these a lot in my videos in this way. You can get a good explanation of what they are. Um, the white has a little bit of a firmer lead in it, so it's a little bit lighter. Um, this one is kind of my sweet spot right in the middle, but these are really fun. So if you hear me talking about black wing, that's what those are. And then last but not least, when it comes to pencils, I like oh I should also say that these are also very lightweight they're like lighter than your average pencil so they're like featherweight in your hand these on the other hand are really heavy these are weighted mechanical pencils and they have the opposite effect and whereas these have all really soft lead which is great for shading adding a ton of dimension in your work with very little pressure I mean, a very little pressure. These give you a very precise mark, which you need sometimes, especially if you're doing detail work. So these come in different leads, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7. That's obviously the diameter. But these are a nice, bold mechanical pencil, and the effects are completely different than that of these soft black wings. So these are a must-have for me, so I use these all the time. Um, and of course, you can always always just use what you have, and that's also one of the reasons I always show off my this one, because anybody can get their hands on this, and anybody can do, a t like 99% of your drawings, you can do with just a yellow pencil if you just press down lightly for your H values and dark for your Bs. You can do so much with a single pencil once you understand the whole line weight thing of a jig and the, the value scale and making sure you have your black to light 
and what is going where, but don't worry about that. We handle that in our drawing classes. So my other favorite drawing utensils that I promised I would demo are my Stabilo All Pencil, because look how cool this is. Again, you'll see me talk about this in the book. I'm not even pitching the book. I just wanted to show you my favorite pencils today. So here's your Elegant Writer. And here is your Stabilo Wall Pencil. So this is so cool because you can do a whole drawing and have all of the value scale represented it just, again, using one pencil. I think the moral of the story is that I'm super lazy and this makes me have all my values with the least amount of, of uh, work, really. So here's your black black. Look at this. I'm just adding water. And what happens is I drag this water up okay what's that it's the whole value scale again but with one utensil so i think suffice it to say whoop locked my light over suffice it to say i like it when you know you get like <laughs> one draw i think it's a little bit magical that one with one drawing instrument you can make the whole value scale how cool that is and then the elegant writer is cool for a totally different reason and that is when you an elegant writer by the way is just like a calligraphy pencil you can get them anywhere like Michaels AC Moore Amazon when you put water on it it like liquefies like a watercolor but then when you lift it off let me show you and it, it, right now it has these like greens and blues and grays if you lift it you start seeing this pink and purple so that's really really cool and this one, after you add water, will be permanent. That You will no longer be able to move this. And the Stabilo stays pretty water soluble. It'll stay reactive. So you get to play around with it. So once you understand like how to draw, you can start drawing with like a Stabilo and then add water and have mega awesome shading in your projects with just water. It reminds me of like when you know when you're a kid, I don't know if you guys, I might be dating myself, but I grew up in the in the 70s and 80s and we had these like um watercolor they were like a sheet with like um like outlines and then you would just take a wet water brush and you would run it over the sections and the water and the it would turn a color that's what these that's what these drawing utensils are to me it's like that same magic when you add the water and you're like ooh, like this is turning into so much fun so I will link here, um, I will put a link up in the corner to some of my other playlists to my fun water soluble. She's on YouTube and I do a quick one of her on YouTube as well. Although the real time one again is in my Fun Fab uh, Drawing Club lesson for October 2019. Um, but you can see the, the quicker version here on YouTube. So the only other thing I wanna talk about is, so my favorite pen, because I use pen all the time too, is I just love these Uniball Signos in black and in white. I use the white for highlights and I use the black, the really thick nib. This is like a one, I think it's a 1.3 nib. It's great for accents, big, big juicy lines. Um, so I use that in my other drawing projects if I just wanna do a little scribble scrabble. So I had to show you, that's what all these black outlines are all done with this, just gel pen. You guys, and that's it. You can pretty much do everything in terms of depth and shading and shadow and dimension and drawing. If you just have a couple of pencils, um, I love drawing because it doesn't need to break the bank. You don't have to use watercolor paper at all. You can use regular computer paper, it's so cool. But I just wanted to show you my favorite, favorite top drawing instruments because they're super cool. Oh, and before I go, I have to show you these cool new erasers that I got too. I will talk about erasers since we're talking about drawing materials. Um, my favorite erasers are, this is called a Vanish eraser and it's, I think it's actually, you can get it on Amazon, but I think um, it's carried exclusively by Jerry's Artorama outside of Amazon. It's the best, it's super soft. Look at this and it erases like everything. It races really, 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 really cleanly. And then my other favorite one is these mono erasers by Tombo. I have to show you these because they're really, really hard. So you, if you need like an itty bitty, like, like eye shine, I just erased my eye. But if you needed a little tiny dot that you needed to erase, these are very firm erasers and you can get little tiny like sparkles in your graphite drawing. Look at how little that is. And it comes with serious refills and they have this shape too. 
So these are really fun. Um, those are by Tombow. Tombow makes really awesome water soluble markers too. Don't even get me started on my marker obsession. That's like a whole nother thing that, today. The Elegant Writers as far as I'm gonna go. But yes, the mixed media supplies uh, will be a different video. But today I just wanted to talk about drawing, give you my new studio tour, my clean studio tour, if you will. If you have any questions, just pop them down in the comment section. You know I love to chat. I get all my comments and I respond to everyone, positive or negative, um, here on YouTube. But yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed my little studio tour and I will put a playlist right now so you can see some more drawing projects um, that I have for you here on YouTube. And otherwise, I will see you next Friday for a new video. Bye-bye.